Black Onyx. Today is um, November 29th, and of course this video has been brought to you by our website, blackonyxworld.com. Okay. Alright, you guys. So, this video is about the effects of pregnancy on hair. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of other people, effects of um, pregnancy, hypothyroidism, PCOS on hair. Um, the normal pregnancy, I guess, most people, you know, take their prenatals, their hair grows like crazy, they end up, you know, giving birth to a beautiful baby and end up having lush hair. Okay, no, that's not my story at all. <laughs> um, before I got pregnant and I got put on thyroid medicine last year, which was a little, it was right after my um, three-year natural hair, three-year natural hair, number? anyway, right after December. Um, so I, I had it in my head, my hair is going to grow to, you know, I hit bra strap length, so I was like, okay, next is, you know, mid-back length, and then what, whatever, waist length, whatever. I was like, I can't wait to see my hair next December. One of the things that's been the hardest was seeing the fact that my hair goal that I had set for the year was not going to happen. Um, as you guys know, I've grown my hair to, um, my hair grows super duper fast, especially because now I have my regimen, my, my regimen, and my routine down perfectly. Um, I stick to using my own products, um, our Alloc Alloc Naturals line, which of course is at BlackOnyxWorld.com. Shameless plug. <laughs> but um, you know, so products wise, I'm good. Regimen wise, I'm good. But health wise, it was a struggle for me this year. Um, I got diagnosed with hypothyroidism, so I was put on medicine for that. That medicine is a killer when it comes to your hair. It causes your entire body to kind of have like a drying effect. So your skin is dry, your scalp is dry, your hair is dry and brittle, um, which causes like, you know, breakage of the hair. It slows down hair growth. There's so many effects of hypothyroidism that is absolutely ridiculous. And then to get thrown in that after I had surgery on my ovaries and the cysts that I had were removed, then it's like, oh, by the way, now you have to be put on medicine for PCOS. Oh, and now you have to get put on medicine for pro prolactinoma. And I'm like, okay, whoa. So all these medicines were pretty much just like stripping my body of everything. But the good thing is I'm healthy. Um, I made it through the year. It turns out I didn't have a tumor in my brain. All these other positive health things happen, but my hair suffered. So I was kind of like worried about coming back on YouTube and, you know, saying, okay, well, you know, this is my hair and it's a year later because my hair is not where it should be for it being a year later. Um, I even got frustrated and because my ends were breaking so much from being brittle and dry from my medicine, I had to start trimming my ends a lot to be able to just keep them from breaking the rest of my hair. So that's what's brought me to this point now. Um, but I mean, I'm I, now I'm okay with my hair. I'm just kind of disappointed in the length, especially when I look at other people who, you know, started the journey with me and I'm like, oh my gosh, I should be, you know, elsewhere. But then I realize that I'm doing something that I told my subbies never to do. Stop having length envy. Just, you know, be happy that your hair is healthy and take care of your hair. It's kind of like having curl envy, like length en envy. It's like, just be happy that your hair is okay and just know that if you keep taking care of it and you keep, you know, managing it the way that you're supposed to, then you're going to be able to reach whatever length goals you have. So, um, currently I'm five and a half months pregnant and that also <laughs> threw my thyroid out of whack. They had to adjust my medicine. Um, so I had tons of hair breakage in the beginning. So bad that I had to keep doing back-to-back -back protective styles because otherwise I swear I would have been depressed that every time I washed my hair, it was just like clumps and clumps of hair shedding out um, from the roots. So I had to, um, I did protective styles back to back for that. And I just took out my last protective style and now I'm like, okay, here's my fro, here's what it is. It's kind of the same fro that I had last year. So I'm just hoping that for the next year, I can kind of find a way to manage my, well after I give birth in April um, and I get put back on my thyroid medicine, um, my PCOS medicine, I'm trying to find a way that maybe that they can adjust my medicine levels to where it doesn't affect me so much, especially when it comes to like, 
you know, my hair and just everything just being dry. You have to stay extra moisturized. Trust me, I've literally had to either be spraying lemongrass in my hair or keeping my yogurt on hand or, you know, making sure I do my growth oil on my scalp. I had to do everything possible to keep my scalp moisturized and my hair moisturized um, or the effects would have been like ridiculous. I may have been coming on this video bald at this point. Um, but yeah, it got so bad. I was like, oh, I'm going to do another big chop. I can't do this. I'm stressed. Like, you know, my hair is falling out from this and whatever. So I had to make basically just take a step back and even give God thanks because it's kind of like someone who has cancer going through chemotherapy and knowing that the chemotherapy is making them healthier, but then they're losing their hair at the same time. So it's a give and a take. But you know what? I'll give my health. I'll take my health any day over you know longer hair so but hopefully I can reach my hair goals for next year um, so it'll be interesting and I'm pretty sure I will be able to now that especially I'm used to um, you know my conditions and realizing this is something I'm gonna have to deal with for the rest of my life but I was happy my baby boy is healthy and I'm loving my hair at the moment um, let me shake it shake it for you so you can see so my hair is still thick. Um, the one thing I realized is that, like my ends, as stated, I'm not gonna keep trimming, obviously, but um, my ends are not as even as they were before. Um, Length-wise, I am, like I said, pretty much where I was last year. Like right here is armpit length. Um, my bangs are. My bangs really should be shoulder length right now, um, or like down here, but it's cool. See, this is where they are. Um, the back of my hair is here. Hopefully you can see it. So I'm bra strap length, um, but hopefully I should have been longer, but I'm dealing, I'm dealing. But it's still bouncy. Um, I did... What I did was on dry hair, um, I did, I put um, Shea Yogurt Moisturizer and did six flat two-strand twists, and I left the ends out, sprayed some lemongrass leave on them, twisted my finger around them, slept in it, woke up, untwisted, shook, and went. So, so my hair is still pretty healthy um, as of now. And I'm working to continuously improve that health from now on. But just wanted to give you guys an update on where my hair is, what I'm doing, and so we can start tracking progress and growth. Um, December 9th is going to be my natural hair anniversary, so I'll do a video on that day. So we can do my official measurements for this year, and I look forward to hearing how your, your year has been um, as far as your hair. Hopefully better than mine. <laughs> Alright y'all, well, stay blessed, stay beautiful, stay natural, stay positive, and I'll catch up with you later. Bye! So go fly